everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear coming to you from IDS here in Cologne, Germany, talking a little bit about intraoral scanners and some of the latest scanners that we're seeing on the market here and the big releases at the show. And I've got a lot of my friends coming to me telling me about what's happening over at Shining 3D, especially with their Elite Series scanners. And I came on over to the booth to come take a look and they've got a couple of new releases here at the show that look really pretty cool. I wanted to go ahead and report to you about First and foremost here, I'm in front of the eMotion stand here because now we've got a few things. Most notably, we have the Shining 3D Elite scanner with wireless that has a battery and replaceable battery using Wi-Fi connection to the computer that is a carryover of their Shining 3D Elite scanner utilizing the same color-coded scan kit and photogrammetry that we've heard about and used to. And I leave it to here to colleagues like Dr. Isaac Taywal to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about how this applies to use in a screw-tain fixed full arch scenario because he's doing incredible work with it. But notably, what I'm here today to talk a little bit about is the eMotion setup that's in front of us, which is this really nice setup going ahead and combining the shining a 3D Elite wireless scanner plus the Medimotion scan device to go ahead and bring together a really incredible little package in a cart that brings everything to me in a clinical practice. That was catching my eye. As we take a look here, as I put the scanner back in the cart, it's a cradle that places the scanner. I can't turn it in some sort of crazy way, so it makes it very easy for me to go ahead and work with. It has a charging unit built into it, and additionally, this little device right here is the Wi-Fi connectivity uh, port adapter that sends the signal here from the wireless scanner. In addition, it's got a desktop CPU built into the motion cart. In addition to that, the MediSmile, which allows me as a clinician to go ahead and utilize jaw tracking, virtual face bows, and amazing things that allow me to com uh, combine a uh, CBCT treatment planning in addition to real-world restorative dentistry. And what I've done here is, is I've wanted to go ahead and demonstrate showing you a scan here for an edentulous workflow since I know so many of you know me for overdentures, dentures, and things of that nature. And let's just jump right into doing a live scan here uh, with our uh, Shiny 3D Elite wireless scanner. So I've got here the scanner you can see here as I hold in my hands. It's just under 200 grams, feeling very light. It's a little heavier than the Shining 3D Elite scanner that has the cord, and that's required because it has a battery in place. As I go ahead and pop this out, you can see here it's got the optics right in here. I can only put this on one way, so I don't really have to worry too much about it. It makes it pretty easy. The green light pops on indicating when it's ready to scan, but it feels very natural in my fingers here. And when I grab my patient here, I've got my edentulous model with my denture. So imagining I've got a, a, an edentulous patient sitting in my practice, I can go ahead and click the button to go ahead and start scanning here on the retromolar pad area. So I'm gonna go ahead and start scanning here on the retromolar pad. As I go ahead and start scanning, I can find this process pretty simple and pretty easy to work with here as well. As I go ahead and I continue that scan, it makes it pretty easy for me to go ahead and loop around the arch. In just a matter of a few seconds, it allows me to go ahead and very easily scan this to be able to go ahead and make this workable. And you saw here as I was scanning, it was pretty simple. And now here's kind of the secret and the key. I click the check box and check button. And now I can go ahead and translate on over to the denture because now I click on the denture mode right here. I grab the patient's denture. And as I'm scanning here, I'll click the button. Also starting here on that kind of retromolar pad area, as I'm going ahead and I'm scanning, the scanner should take over here from me as I'm joining these together. And you think, gosh, did I scan it correctly? No problem. I'm gonna do a 360 scan of the denture, joining together all the details and everything that I need. And again, a part of this is utilizing the scanner to go ahead and give me the incisal edge markings, the soft tissue alignment. If I wanted to go ahead and combine the soft tissue alignment here, coming back over to the other side, I'm really not really paying that much attention to a scan strategy, getting as close as possible to the scan here, closing that back end, which is so important for intraoral edentulous scanning. And then right in here onto this side, picking up this surface right in here, making sure I go ahead and I close the loop of the backside of the scanner. Pretty easy here now at this point. So I'll go ahead and put the scanner back away, take a look at it here, click the checkbox, and let's see what happens with the intraoral scanner. 
because what we can do is, is join together multiple scans pretty easily and the scanner automatically did that for me. And wow, what a powerful feature that makes this really, really unique in the intraoral scanning space. There are a few other scanners that let me do a very similar workflow. So I go ahead and check out some of my other videos here uh, at my YouTube channel, but I really kind of instantly feel that Shiny 3D has got a real pulse on the alignment and really effortless alignment of bridging the edentulous scan as well as with the denture scan. So imagine I can do that, bring together the scan of the opposing, and importantly, I can go ahead and combine this with a locator overdenture, all the different edentulous scans, or even potentially bring this together with things like implant dentistry. So then that way, I can bring all of these together and treat my edentulous patients with ease and simplicity. And then if I wanted to think about the possibilities of using things like the scan kit with the MediSmile and think about things like this where I take this scanner and I show you the ability of saying, could I combine the implant workflows with the edentulous workflows that you see right in here? And I don't know, I'm thinking about so many great ideas and imagining that this is my denture patient or even my restorative patient. When I go ahead and I click on this, I can even combine functional jaw motions. I mean, my goodness, imagine the scenario. I've got a denture patient in front of me that I'm going, how do I nail the occlusion on this denture patient? Boom, okay? In a cart form right in front of the patient. So everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shearer coming to you from the Shining 3D booth here at IDS Cologne. Not only do we have the eMotion set up with the Shining 3D Elite Wireless Scanner, but Shining 3D has brought some really cool 3D printing updates as well, including the AccuFab F1. I had a chance to go ahead and play with that. DLP printer, really effective, really easy, straightforward, utilizes an open workflow, including the Shining 3D resins and other outside resins. Additionally, a new nitrogen cure from Shining 3D but a powerful showing here from IDS Cologne, the Shining 3D Elite Wireless, all sorts of updates, including the eMotion, plus a couple of new releases from the 3D printing space. Wow, considering me really impressed, go ahead and check out Shining 3D and some of the, the recent updates here at my YouTube channel, coming to you from IDS Cologne here in 2025. Nice job, Shining 3D.